with you and frying fish and stewing meat. My treat for pudding is a treat. Do we have lovely grub to eat? Sir, nothing you're right, you like. I was a cook, sir, a chef, but that's a boy. Did they make me a cook, sir? Nothing you're sad, but like. I'm on ablutions all the time. After my neck in grease and grime, they call me Shandell number nine. Sir, all this a right, you like. On all commando rates, I get it more at paper rates, sir. Not on your own delight. Start our excavations. There. Sorry, Mr. Lindell. There. Now, is that quite clear? Yes, Lindell. Chalk. 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 Thank you. We mark the end of the area there. Yes, that'll do. I think there should be enough traffic space up there, Mr. Grimsdale. Well, let's measure it then. Over there, Pitkin. Sound the horn, driver. Look, Lively. Brass hat from the war office. Just check that again, then, Pitkin. It's 14 feet, one and a half inches, Mr. Grimsdale. Sir, what's this confounded blockade here, eh? Borough surveyors that work, sir. Don't they know there's a war on? Order them to let us through. Sir. Really. Some of these civilians are impossible. All right, you can stop all that and let him through. Oh, who's him, may I ask? Well, the general. You can give the general my compliments and inform him that we're engaged on work of national importance. When we have completed our calculations, he can then proceed. Yes, and not until then, either. Hey, Mr. Grimsdale. I think we'll measure it again, Pitkin. Yes, Mr. Grimsdale. He says it's work of national importance, sir, and, and you'll have to wait, sir. Work of national importance? What the devil does he think we're doing? With or without curbstone, Mr. Grimsdale? With, please, Pitkin. Fifteen feet, eight and a half inches. Try one, Fletcher. Well, look after the little man. <coughs> hey, 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 what are you doing? Hey! And it's marvellous, Mr. Grimsdale. Just like the army. Give them an inch, I take a mile. Oh, they have done. <laughs> Stop the car. Sentry! Sentry! Don't you want to see my pass? Oh, that's all right, sir. Oh, no, it isn't. What sort of security have you got here? Oh, well, sir. How do you know it... I'm not a member of the enemy intelligence? Well, it's easy to see you're not that, sir. Uh, you're on the charge. Carry on, driver. Get me the colonel, quick. Yes? The general's here. Here, now. Right. It's your general Hunt. Good morning, sir. Morning. Leighton. I want you to find accommodation for this young officer. A pleasure, sir. Is she to be on my staff? No. She will take orders direct from HQ. For your ears alone, she is shortly to be parachuted into France. Right, Pitkin. Report to me at the town hall by 5 p.m. and let me know your progress. 
Oh, and uh, don't let these people interfere with your work. You can handle them. All right, Mr. Grimsdale. Now, what is it? It's that little civilian against the Shall I do No, leave this to me. You. To me? Yes, you. What do you think you're doing? Making tea. Want a cup? Don't you start that. This is going to be reported to Mr. Grimsdale. Who will be informing the mayor? I can assure you of that. Now, me, sir. All right, out of the way, you. over the hedge. They did indeed, Mr. Grimsdale. I shudder to think what the mayor's going to say about this. Give me the mayor, please. Oh, well, let me know when he's free. Oh. Well, Pitkin, how do we get on today? Well, it's a double substitute due to Sandy's so I think, well, in fact, I know we shall have to dig the lot up. How long do you think that'll take? Well, I suppose I could knock it off in a couple of months, because you'll have to give me some blokes to help, you know. I'll do what I can, Pitkin. But the army keeps calling up all my best men. Potty. They don't seem to realize that any fool can carry a rifle. But how many of us can recognize a double subsidence of sandy soil? Ah. Oh, that's just it, Mr. Grimsdale, of course. No doubt about it. We're in a class of our own. We are that, Pitkin. We're keeping open the arteries of the nation. If we can do that, victory will be ours. Keeping open the arteries of the nation. I should want a new stop sign, please, Mr. Grimsdale. Listen, you rot. You're not only in the army now, you're in the Pioneer Corps. And that doesn't mean just digging holes. You've got to learn to march, drill, fight, close combat, bayonets, the lot. Quick, march. Now I swing your arms now. Left, right, left, right. Swing your arms now. Hold! Drown arms! 
Interfering with the training of His Majesty's troops, sir. What's he supposed to be doing? Uh, excavating the roads. Yes, yes, I know that. Oh, bring him in for questioning. Sir. <laughs> hey! Out! Out! You're trespassing on council property. What do you want? You, sonny boy. You're coming along with me. What for? You'll find out. No, 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 I don't want to, no. Hey, hey, get your hands off me. No need for all this nonsense. I'll give you break for tea. I should have brought this to Mr. Grimsdale. You're all going to get into trouble for this, you know that, don't you? All right, come on, look sharp now. What is all this about? My time is very valuable, you know. You were hampering the war effort. Well, what's your occupation? Well, I'm a road... I'm keeping open the arteries of other nation. What is your name? Pitkin. Hmm. Who can vouch for you? Well, Mr. Grimsdale, of course. And who is he? Who's Mr. <laughs> You're joking. No, I'm not. Well, you ring up the town hall, you'll soon find out. Go on. Oh, the Colonel wants me. Get off my desk and don't try to escape. If you have someone to vouch for you, there's nothing to worry about, Mr. Pippin. Oh, thanks awfully. But the name is Pipkin. Bring up this fellow at the town hall, and even if Pitkin is who he says he is, let him cool his heels for an hour or so. A very good. What's the number of the town hall? <laughs> I should think so. 833. 833, three, please. Uh, who did you say? Mr. Grimsdale. And you want to be polite to him, too. The old town hall? I want to speak to someone called Grimsdale. Cool. Borough engineer speaking. That's right. Who? Pitkin? Well, of course I know him. Do you mean to say that you've had the audacity to interfere with one of my men? Don't you know there's a war on? You don't say so. Well, he seems to know who you are, right? I'm uh, putting Pitkin onto you. Hello, Mr. Grimsdale. Yeah, well, I, I told them they were interfering with work and national importance. Well, just because they're in uniform, they think they're better than us civilians. Well, one's sort of an officer. The other one's one of them know-all sergeants. Yeah, well, the only, only person who's been polite to me is a very pretty lady officer. Goodbye, Mr. Grimsdale. Mr. Grimsdale says if I have any more trouble with you, he'll report you to the mayor. Oh, what is it? Carpenter Junior Commander Carpenter. Oh, thank you. Do you, Pitkin, wait a minute. You're
you're too late to apologize. Apologize to you? Why? You, you let this be a lesson. Fortunately for you, Mr. Grimsdale is not the vindictive type. Take him away! Take him away! What are you doing? Hey, I'm going out! And after that, it was very easy. Oh, this will be her now. Can you come on to Cartland, sir? Hello. Morning, sir. Henri, this is Miss Cartland. Enchanté. How do you do? Henri is the leader of the resistance movement at Fleury. Fleury? Is that where I'm... Yes, mademoiselle. You will be with us there in about three weeks. Henri is here for a few hours only. He wanted to meet you. It was essential to our plan. Yes, of course. Now, time is short. You have half an hour. Now to business. In France, mademoiselle, you'll be known as Marie Villemour. Marie Villemour. You will work in a small bar in Fleury itself. It will be dangerous. Fleury is the headquarters of General Schreiber. Otto Schreiber. And his way of dealing with a spy can be painfully persuasive. Oh, 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 oh no, let me go! No, no. with me tonight. Oh, oh, how I wish I could. Well, why can't you? <laughs> well, I, I'm only private. What was the sergeant want? Private. <laughs> oh, saucy tinker. Fancy dress. <laughs> Fancy as that. <laughs> you could go as uh, Lady Godiva. Oh, no. Why not? I just had my hair cut. <laughs> well, that wouldn't matter. How dare you? Oh, now, don't be angry. I'm not the kind of man you think I am. Oh, well, that's good, because I'm not the sort of girl you think I am either. Well, I'll uh, see you up R7 then. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you worry. 
Give me the map. All right, well, give me the commanding officer at Bats Begun. Yes. The army thinks too much of itself, Pitkin, just because it does a bit of fighting here and there. They don't seem to realize that the war is being won on the home front by men like you and me. Colonel Layton, this is Grimsdale. Uh, Grimsdale, Borough Engineer, St. Godric's Borough Council. It's those road menders again that are blasted nuisance. Can't something be done about them? Look here, Grimsdale. I am not going to be dictated to by a civilian pen pusher. Cool. I'll see if the mayor has the commanding officer cashiered. And as for that sergeant, I'll have him stripped. That means reduced to the ranks, Pitkin. Don't you dare talk to me like that, Leighton. If there's any repetition of this disgraceful conduct, I'll, I'll take the matter up with the mayor. The mayor can what? Something's got to be done about this, Wharton. It's very d difficult to deal with civilians, sir. Why are they civilians? Uh, yes. Exactly, sir. Arrange to have them called up. Once we've g got them in uniform. War office. Mr. Grimsdale. What's the meaning of this picking? Why aren't you at work? I've been called up. Nonsense. It's not fair. Here am I doing work of national importance, and what happens? I've got to go square bashing. Calm yourself, Pitkin. There's no need to panic. There must be some mistake. I have it on the mayor's personal assurance that no more of my men will be called to the colours. Oh, HMS. Exactly the same. Oh, this is probably from the war office, apologising for that regrettable incident the other day. Oh. Mm. Now, gentlemen, before we enter this uh, place, I would like you to know that I have the mayor's personal assurance that we shall all be back in civilian life within two weeks. His worship told me himself most emphatically. Well, I'm very pleased to hear it. That's yeah, nice to know, isn't it? Ah, good afternoon. Uh, Mr. Pitkin, isn't it? Welcome to Battersby Camp. Delighted to have you with us. Oh, uh, when do you introduce me to your friends? Uh, this is Mr. Grimsdale. How do you do? Afternoon, Sergeant. Uh, this is Mr. Fred Ferndale. How do you do? Good afternoon, Sergeant. Mr. Harry Hoylake. How do you do? Mr. George White. How do you do? And this, of course, is Mr. Charles Fenton Hopkins. How do you do? Uh, will you come this way, please, gentlemen? It's not going to be as bad as we expected, Mr. Grimsdale. No, well, no doubt they realize that we're a cut above the normal intake. After you, gentlemen. Oh. Thank you. Now then, you miserable sir, you moth eaten son who comes to humanity! You're in the army now, and you're going to enjoy it! I like some of you, and it's a lot of people in Jacket and take your shirt off. Oh, I don't want to take my shirt off. Take your shirt off. Oh dear. 
Dear, oh dear. Hmm. What's the matter? What's that? Anything wrong? What? Anything wrong? I can't hear with these on. Anything wrong? Oh. <laughs> now what's wrong? Cold. Oh, don't be such a baby. Be then. Out. In. Out. In. Out. In. In. Not out yet. Well, breathe out then. I'm out now. I've got to get in to get out. Don't argue with me. Do as I tell you. Breathe in. I'm out. In. Out. 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 What's the matter? Well, take a breath then. Will you breathe in? Will you take a breath? I... Well, I was nearly a gunner then. Oh. Right, mark him down, A1. Jerry B, please, Corporal. Thank you. Loosen his collar. Lift him on the bed. Pickin, ah. you shouldn't have done that. What punishment did they give you, then? Too embarrassing to tell you, Mr. Grimsdale. Oh. Oh, my boots are killing me, Pitkin. Move on, you two! It's all very well for you young chaps, Pitkin. But if I get crippled for life, the mayor's gonna have something to say. Hey, you the men there! Don't you salute when you see officers? We don't know any yet. You salute every holder of the King's Commission, male or female, and you do it smartly. So, longest way up, sure. shortest way down. I'd see you do it. Uh, thank you. F uh, fancy that. Ridiculous nonsense. The fact not a work we should get through in the borough if you went around saluting me all day. The crowning humiliation is we have to salute a woman. Don't you agree, Pitkin? Mr. Grimsdale, she saluted me. I think I'll have another one. somewhere before. Yes, miss. Last time we met, I was in civvy sleep. Remember? No, I'm afraid I don't. I was the road mender. I've got it now. Oh, yes, of course, Mr. Parkin. Pipkin. Well, how are you enjoying army life? What? Enjoy square bashing? I was the pride of the borough. Now I'm just a pioneer. Well, Sir Francis Drake was a pioneer too, you know. Was he? That's right. Cheer up. I'm sure we'll both get a chance to do our bit later on. So. Pitkin! Don't you know you salute the King's Commission on all occasions? Well, it's come through at last. You ought to proceed at once to the RAF station at Tangmere. 
For security reasons, you're to travel to London by train as if going on a 48 hours leave. Thank you, sir. I should be glad to be doing something at last. Yes. Uh, Pickin, uh, double over to the MT section, will you? Tell them to have a car ready in for five minutes. Yes, sir. Is to collect Junior Commander Cartland. Take it to the station. Yes, sir. Mm. Amazing, isn't it? Yeah, what is it? Captain Morton wants a car at the office's mess right away. Johnny? Ah, oh, not me, Corp. I want to get my money back. Me too. Do me a favour. Look, someone's got to oh, do it. I can't tell it up. Hey, can you play solo? No. But I can drive a car. All right. Take the helmet and bring it back in one piece, eh? Oh, thank you, Corporal. <laughs> Having a spot of leave in London? I beg your pardon? I was merely inquiring whether or not you were having a spot of leave in London. I'd rather not talk, if you don't mind. I have a lot to think about. Road on! Where don't you look where you're going? Here we are, miss. I'll carry that myself. Thanks all the same. Private, uh... Oh, Pitt Kin. Oh, yes, of course. Goodbye. You're coming back tonight, miss? Yes, I expect so. Oh. Here! I'll wait for you then. Ma'am. <laughs> Been here all night. Oh, she didn't come back then. Who? Oh, don't matter. What's the time? Six o'clock. No. Still think I've deserted. Now these dummies are the enemy. See? Rifle. Now then, you take up the on guard position like this. Now, on the command charge, you advance at the double. You stick the bayonet in their stomachs, like this, see? And you twist them. And then you tear out their innards, like this, see? I want to see them spread all over the ground. So, come on, you happy pioneers. Let's see what you can do. All right, leave me alone, Pitkin. Now then. First three, ready. On guard! Charge! Well, twist them. Twist them. Let's see buckets of blood. Let's swim in it. Oh. What's the matter, Pitkin? You feeling sick? Would you like to join your friend? No, Sergeant. Sir Francis Drake could have done it, so I can. Sir Francis Drake? Ah. Well, suppose you give us a demonstration, Pitkin. Hmm? Let's see what a killer you are. Show us how Sir Francis Drake would have done it. Right. Get ready to charge. Oh, contort your face. Oh, go on, contort it. You're still good looking. Contort it! Lovely. Charge! <laughs> no, not at me, you fool! Them! No, 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 not them! The dummy! <laughs> Ask me, Wharton, the sooner we get picked into France, the better. 
You've got five minutes for your last drink in Blighty, and remember, no careless talk. Move! Pint of beer and a lemonade, please, miss. And you can have a beer, Mr. Grimsdale? Two beers, then. I wonder where we're going. Only the Commander-in-Chief knows that, Pitkin. Well, I know. You're going to Beauville. Come on, lads. Let's have you. Well, they don't give you much time, do they? And there's a war on, Pitkin. I said let's have you. Now, come on. Come on, Pitkin. Pitkin! Grimsdale! Would you believe it? They got on the wrong lorry. Straight through and then round to the left. Round to the left. Heavens, Pitkin. It looks like we're going by air. So we are. I've never been up before. Oh, neither have I. Well, we're both in the same boat then, aren't we? Oh, <laughs> Give me a hand, Pitkin. Not for me. No, thanks. Oh, thank you. Oh, well, I must say, Mr. Grimsdale, they're being exceptionally nice to us, aren't they? That bloke's got no nerves at all. Cool! Chicken! Yeah. This is luxury, isn't it? I'm glad I came now. I wouldn't have missed this for anything on earth. <laughs> on earth? How long do you think we're going to be, Mr. Grimsdale? About two hours, I should say, in Pitkin. Oh. Oh, well, in that case, I should definitely have a kip. I'll have that for my breakfast, eh? about you too. Well, uh, you're in luck. The skipper says this is Beauville now. Ah, good. 
We're here, Mr. Grimsdale. Would you like us to pay for the petrol? Oh, no. Well, I must say, that was a very nice, smooth landing. Very grateful for your hospitality. Should you ever pass our unit, do drop in. Good morning. Good morning. Now, where's this... How dare you? You seem to have no consideration. Oh, he... Oh, no, uh, uh... Coming, Pitkin, coming! Get out of my way, Pitkin! You all right, Mr. Grimsdale? I think so, Pitkin. Much nicer than I thought, ain't it, Mr. Grimsdale? <laughs> oh, wonderful, wonderful! Oh, it's really lovely up here! Oh! oh! Mr. Grimsdale! Mr. Grimsdale! Now stop playing the fool, Pipkin! Mr. Grimsdale! Oh, thank you, Mr. Grimsdale. Get your dog. Pipkin, get on my foot! Pipkin, get off my foot, will you? I don't, Mr. Grimsdale! No! Moville! Uh. Where are you, Mr. Grimstone? And two days ahead of schedule! Pekin, we've landed in France! <laughs> France? <laughs> What's she doing? Afternoon, forward. Afternoon, sir. How are the road repairs going? Oh, pressing forward, sir. Trouble is, we're short of bolts, sir. Some of our advance units are down to two men, sir. Oh, keeping in constant touch? Oh, rather, sir. Now, you take this map, sir. Choose any flag you like, and I can call them up in a matter of seconds. Oh. Well, now, um, how about that one, eh? They seem to be nearest to the enemy. Flag 27. Code name, Balaclava. Must keep the enemy guessing, sir. Good, good. Hello, Balaclava. Hello, Balaclava. Agincourt calling Balaclava. Can you hear me? Roger. Hello, Agincourt. Balaclava here. But it's not Roger, it's Norman. How are you progressing, Balaclava? Oh, I don't know. Yep. Well, I think we... Better let me handle this, begin. Hello, Agincourt. We're progressing here splendidly. We completed the repairs on the three roads according to instructions, and now we have moved forward on our own initiative and are doing some more very necessary work here. Well done, Balaclava. Two of our best men, sir. Keeler's mustard. Came by parachute. Splendid. Hello, Balaclava. What is your position? Our map, Pitkin, if you please. Balaclava position, sheet 36, square B, 063442. Over. Thank you, Balaclava. Roger. Can't I have two lumps, Mr. Grimsdale? Unfortunately, there are only three left. Can I borrow the spoon? Just tell my one. Perhaps you better go down to the nearest village and see if you can purchase some sugar. Oh, uh, parlez vous francais, Pitkin? Un pew. Eh? Oh, good. Well, it looks like one down there by that chateau. You might uh, see if you can get some eggs at the same time. That's funny, sir. According to these coordinates, Balaclava's four miles inside enemy territory. Oh, maybe bad map readers better call up and check. Yes, sir. Hello, Balaclava? Hello, Balaclava? Hello, Balaclava? Agent Cook calling Balaclava. Can you hear me? Agent Court of Balaclava, please confirm your position. 063442. Are you absolutely certain, Balaclava? 
that makes you one mile from Fleury. Four miles inside enemy territory. It's not like me to make a mistake, Agincourt. Can you see a shadow on the hill, Balaclava? Yes, Agincourt, I can. Uh, look here, Balaclava. You'd better pack your equipment and retreat south. Immediately. Repeat, immediately. Yes, sir, Roger. I mean, uh, yes, Roger, sir. You get here. Pardon? Je ne comprends pas, monsieur. Don't you remember me? You know, the road mender. Qu'est-ce que vous dites? A road mender? Jamais. Never have I known a road mender. Oh. So you're not Miss Carton then? Non. Je m'appelle Marie Villemour, monsieur. Sorry. Only I used to know a girl once, just like you. Well, I didn't exactly know her. I couldn't really. She being what she was, and me being what I am. Comme c'est triste. Very sad. Yeah. Elle est jolie? Jolie. Oh, oh, jolly. <laughs> no, oh, not exactly, no. She was ever so pretty, though. I fell in love with her the first time I ever saw her. So? She didn't even know that I existed. Couldn't even remember my blooming name. Perhaps she was in love with someone else? You know, even your voice sounds like hers. Bon, alors, vous voulez une bière, monsieur? Oui. Garçon, un bloc et demi. Un bloc et demi, voilà, voilà, monsieur. Allez, bon, monsieur le rame, merci. Bon, monsieur, merci. Soldier, a private Popkin. Pitkin. Oh yes, Pitkin. Then you are Miss Carlton. Yes, but forget it. I am Marie Villemour. Oh, and I told you, well, I mean, what I said upstairs, I'd, I'd never dared if I'd known. Well, never mind about that now. What are you doing behind the enemy lines? Behind? 
Well, I was just mending out in the road with a friend of mine. I've seen him. He's been taken prisoner. No. Mr. Grimsdale taken prisoner? I'm afraid so. It seems I made a mistake about him, I. It's very understandable. We have the prisoner outside, Herr General. Good. Winking a fan, Herr Whatever you're doing here, dressed up like that, Pitkin. What? <laughs> it's very ingenious, I must say. You're a credit to the borough. <laughs> what is to say? Pig dog? <laughs> Nothing. I'm very sorry. Nothing at all. Ah, so you are making joke. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you? My name is Wilfred Grimsdale, rank private number 178072. Beyond that, I refuse to give any further information. If you are a soldier, where is your uniform? I'm You are a spy! And we have a method for making spies talk. I'll never talk. This is your last word? It is. So. Shoot him! No, wait, 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 just a moment. I, um... <clears throat> you wish to say something? On second thought, sir, I'd, uh, I'd like to talk. That is good. What were you doing in the road? Patching it, sir. Patching? Yes, sir, digging. Digging? Ah, digging! So, you were trying to get into my headquarters? Oh, no, sir. We were just repairing a slight subsidence due to sandy soil. Ah, we? Yes, me and Pitkin. Pitkin? Another spy! Oh, no, sir, I'm not a spy, really, I'm not... Lying hunt! You are Henri Leblanc, leader of the French resistance. I know all about you and your workers. I'm not Leblanc, I'm Mr. Grimsdale. Silence! I will decide who you are and what you do. I will decide! Where is this Pitkin? He went shopping, sir. Shopping? <laughs> shopping. He went spying, you mean? Throw this miserable worm into the old dungeon. Ah, Schmidt! We have captured Henri Leblanc. Herr General, I'm surprised to see you here. Of course I am here. I have seen something very strange at the cafe. The cafe? Well, what have you seen? Huh? You are a danger to us here. I will get you to a safe hideout. Hurry, Jean. I need a storm of you. To the cafe! Come with me quickly. Au revoir, Marie. Au revoir, Henri. Good luck, Pitkin. You got it right. Bonne chance. Take them to the chateau, keep them 24 hours for questioning, and then 
Who knows? Well, why can't we rescue them? Oh, if only it were possible. I know every inch of the chateau, but how can we get in? Over the wall? Impossible. It's electrified. Under it, then. Under? It would take too long. Don't be daft. I work on the Borough Council. You want to see me dig? Come on. So far, so good. Where's Pierre? He's coming now. Passes Lois, what are you doing here? Oh, c'est très sérieux. There is a dangerous subsidence of soil. Most dangerous. Monsieur le maire is very worried. Impossible. What's the matter with him? Oh, he's very temperamental. It's imperative that this road be repaired. He thinks you don't want him to dig. Well... Oh, help me, please. Just one little word from you. Oh, all right. <laughs> you are a nice boy. You dig that hole, huh? <laughs> you dig that hole! with leaves and branches. We may need to make a quick escape. Oh, the balcony leads into the general's quarters. We must steal the keys of the dungeon. I will go first. If the coast is clear, I will signal with a hoot of an owl, so... If anything happens to me, you alone can save the prisoners. Au revoir, mon brave. Good evening. Stop that! Put up your hands. You are a clever man to get into my headquarters. How did you do it? You would be wise to answer my questions. What is your name? I will give you 30 seconds, otherwise I will shoot. What is your name? Ten seconds to go. My name is Henri Leblanc. Liar! I have already called Henri Leblanc. You are his accomplice. Pitkin. We Germans are not such fools as you think. Come with me, Pitkin. I will personally conduct you to your friends.
I hope you will enjoy your stay. It will be a short one. Till the morning. Henri Leblanc, here is your collaborator, Pitkin. That's not Pitkin. You lie! Stand up! Admit it, or I will have you flogged. That's Pitkin. Huh. Gentlemen, your mission has failed. Sleep well. For this, you will all pay the penalty. Good enough. Gretchen von Schmetterling. Ah, Gennadius, Fräulein. Wollt ihr be seated? Herr General. <laughs> you may go, Jürgen Kraut, and see that we are not disturbed. Understand? Whatever happens, not disturbed. <laughs> so we feel again, I. And now. My Liebling, how I have longed for this moment. Soon we will mingle in ecstasy. It cannot be too soon for me. <laughs> but would it not be better to eat first? Yeah. But afterwards we mingle, huh? Oh, yeah, afterwards we mingle. We mingle. <laughs> <laughs> My beautiful butterfly. <laughs> Ever since the night I heard you sing Brunhilde in Berlin, I have been your slave. Oh, that was a long while ago. We have had many jovial meetings since then, huh? Oh, yeah, so harmonious. And each time you are so much better than the time before. <laughs> <laughs> then what are we waiting for? First we drink this. Ah, to the most beautiful butterfly of the Reich Opera House. Oh. <laughs> A finig for your thoughts, Otto. I was thinking of the coming battle. With the British. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> With you. Not <laughs> <laughs> oh, It is bad luck to break a champagne glass. So? Why? Because you have nothing to drink from. <laughs> <laughs> There is always your little shoe. Oh, not the bad!
<laughs> you are ready? Yeah, I am ready. Then, shall we? Why not? <laughs> oh. Ich grübe gern in jedem Kieselstein. Ich möchte sehen, ob jedes frische Bild mit Gras und Sonne, der es schnell verrät. Auf jedem weißen Zettel möchte ich schreiben. Fein ist mein Herz, fein ist mein Herz und voll I will cuggle. Yeah. I will sing solo. Little songbird is waiting. Um, yeah, yeah. We are the old night before us. Is that not wonderful? Now, you will sing for me. Yeah. So much about the day, the summer thing. Till, till. 